Hello there, Sagittarius. Let's look at your prospects for the full moon in Scorpio happening here on April 27th. That is during the, that's right smack in the middle of the uh, sign of, in the sun sign of Taurus. And so that axis is all about authenticity and honesty and going in deep and not being superficial and being like, this really is me. This is who I am and being just straight up about it, right? So Sagittarius, you're like, ooh, whoa, we got the devil came out. The devil's come up in four or five of these readings so far. So that's really interesting. The devil's really about an obsession, but I feel like the, the message that has been wanting to come out is like, like there's there's some generational ideas about what is okay and what's not okay in how you present yourself to others in order to feel like you're safe. So like, what did you learn in your childhood from your influential adult if you were raised by your parents or whatever? Um, did you, that's when we, when we pick up our attachment styles. So if we learned in our childhood that it's not safe to say what you want. Like you, you told your little, a little child and you said, I want that to your, to your mom. And your mom was like, you can't have that. Then you're like, oh, mommy's mad at me. And so you never ask for what you want. You never say what you want to your mother so that you won't, so that you won't disappoint her. That's still stuck in your subconscious mind. Our subconscious is built by the time we're five years old. And so we're still running on those patterns all the way through adulthood. So unless we're con unless we become conscious about it, right? That's what this, this devil is about, is these unconscious patterns that make us act in ways that are actually de detrimental to us. And so we're going around thinking we can control whether or not somebody's happy with us by making them happy, by being people pleasers, by not being truly honest about what it is that we want. Okay. So there it is, multiple generations, probably your parents or whoever raised you, uh, also grew up with this idea that if I don't make the people that I need happy, the people who like, I'm dependent on in some way, if I don't make them happy, then you know I could die. So I've got to please them at all costs, even if it means sacrificing things that are really meaningful and important to me. And so there's always this like little subtle dissatisfaction with life that goes along with that. So let's get to the root of this, right? How do we go forward? Any advice from the tarot about going forward? There's the, there's the hermit who wants you to know that it is okay to be alone. I think that's what it comes down to fundamentally. If, if the worst thing happens, you tell someone that's close to you, your boss, your, your, um, your sweetheart, you know, your closest family members, people that you, really, that you really count on to be looking out for your best interest, if you tell them truthfully something that you've been hiding, that you're not totally proud of, that you would like, like really like to have happen, or some, some like aspect of yourself that you feel like really needs to come out, um, if you think that they're going to shun you in some way, they're gonna push you away, just know that no matter what, you're gonna be okay. No matter what, you are safe. No matter what, you are cared for. Like if you're, excuse me, my nose is just driving me nuts. <laughs> that means there's magic happening. Special messages are happening when my nose is itching. I think I scratched it so hard I might have bled. Anyway, and, and part of it's the wearing a mask all the time. It tickles my nose constantly. It's allergy season too. The hermit is all about seeking out the truth, even if he has to do it alone in the wilderness by himself. But he is always safe and cared for. He is not afraid of the wilderness. He's not afraid to walk away from the trappings of, the, of Babylon, <laughs> of the material world, in order to seek out what is true and real for him. And what happens is that he goes out with his lantern and he's by himself in the wilderness and it turns out all the other people that are wandering the wilderness see the land, the light. They see the light in the distance and they're attracted to it. And that's how he finds his new friends. The new friends that are all, have also um, dealt with the pain of separation that, that he has, okay? 
So that's where you're headed, right? Not necessarily by yourself, but you're headed toward feeling safe, Sagittarius, in who you are, even if you have to tell someone the truth that, that ends up pushing you away. Know that. But there's a really good chance that, who, that whatever you have to tell people, like whatever you need to reveal about yourself, it's not gonna, there's a really good chance that it's not gonna shun you. If there's a really good chance that the people that you love, that you depend on, will say, well, why didn't you just say so? And it'll feel awkward and weird, but you're the one that, that held it back, so you just have to deal with that, right? Eventually, everything passes and feels better, but it, um, it's just so good to get it off your chest and be authentic. Even, like, no matter what the cost, it feels like such a weight, and you definitely don't want to go to your deathbed wondering if you could have lived life in a more authentic way. This is where I leave off, Sag Sagittarius. Thank you so much for being with me. Hmm. Got the hiccups. <laughs> have a good lunar cycle, and I'll see you later.